And uh, that chat all starts right here, of course, with the return of Carol McGiffin. Where have you been? Well, I've been, yeah, I went away for a few days, do some work, mm -hmm. and um, I, I went to Thailand. For a few for days? A couple of days, yeah. And I'll tell you what, oh, it was so lovely to feel heat on my skin. Oh, oh, it was, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to tell anyone, because everyone's been so frozen, and like, you know, it's so troublesome We're not here. a bit jealous, are we? No. Not a bit jealous. But, you know, it's like when you get off the plane anywhere mm. there in Asia at the moment, it's just like having like a blow heater in your yeah. face and oh mm. it's just so it lovely. It feel completely different. Really, it? really different. Mm. Also it's so just good to for the soul. Sunshine mm. as well. Sunshine, blue sky. And light mm. and, and sort of sitting outside till like, you know, nine, ten o'clock at night. Uh, you know, working of course. Of course. Yes. No, yes. no, really. And <laughs> you know, it was just it was beautiful. It was How lovely. can you work were you working with your writer? How can you write when you've got a drink in your hand? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't type. drinking. I was on my own and I was working. Oh. And she can type with so, one hand. You know, yeah. you know like that. Yeah. Drink. Work. Well, drink. I bet work. you didn't. If you think you've been excited, there was nobody more excited than me yesterday, girls. Oh, what happened? Oh, wow. <gasps> I was like a big kid <gasps> watching Santa. Go on. Because the bin men came. Yeah! <laughs> went out and spoke to them because I was that excited about seeing the bins <laughs> being emptied. <laughs> because they haven't been emptied since before Christmas because right. the snow and everything. Yorkshire's been terribly hit by the snow. And I was just so pleased. I don't think I've been that excited <laughs> for an awful long time. And that's how sad. <laughs> <laughs> it is sad. Well, I know you were going to say Brad Pitt was your new no, bin man. No, the no, bin man. just the normal the bin is, man. And when Lovely. you go away, because we went away for Christmas, so we all had the pre-bins the pre before Christmas. Then we came home, Jake's all his toys that he opened. Yeah. They're still sitting out. You know what? I'm not bringing them in. They've been sat there for two weeks. Oh, I'm not bringing them in because I have to lug. There's, there's hundreds of them. I'm yeah. getting looks from the villagers. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They don't like that. Yes, yeah. I know. The fox has not ripped them all over. No, they haven't, actually. Well, they do not. Well, I've been in, out, in, out, shake it all about. I've had the bins in, brought them back in again. Uh, yeah. took them out. Yeah. And in fact, I was on the phone yesterday. I was angry of Weybridge, Surrey yesterday, saying, well, this is ridiculous. You know, when are you coming? I put them out on Friday. You didn't come on Saturday. Did a little. And they basically said, just leave them out and they'll yeah. come at some point. But, you know... <sighs> I know this sounds corny, but it is all put into perspective, isn't it, with this terrible, terrible earthquake oh in Haiti. God. And we sit here, of course, every day, and we have a good old moan about something. But, mm. you know, not having your bins collected is the least of your problems, isn't That's it, really, when, when you see the devastation there. So I'm sure all of us are our thoughts and prayers and mm. with, with everybody there, and obviously yeah. people here who may have family there. Absolutely. So our thoughts with you. Mm today but um, we have got some good news which is it's lovely news actually Danny Minogue and her long-term partner Chris Smith <laughs> um, have confirmed they're <laughs> expecting their first child together in the summer oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. it's lovely isn't it and uh, she wrote on her Twitter page woohoo I'm gonna be a mummy <laughs> however it was only last year actually that she said I've never been maternal I almost thought I was going to escape it but now I'm in a relationship that's so right maybe I have to think about it now so yeah and she's definitely done more than think about it obviously yes. <laughs> yeah. but have, I, it made me think have you ever looked at a man met a man man your past that mm. you just thought wow I want your babies well <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit like Danny in that way. I've never really been very maternal. I, I have got a maternal streak in me. I know it's in there somewhere. With animals? With, yeah, maybe. No, I don't even like animals. But <laughs> I, um, <laughs> but I, no, I, 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 I am quite motherly, hmm. but not with children. <laughs> <laughs> but I must admit... Not even other people. No, <clears throat> no. So, um, yeah, I am a little bit. I do yeah. love kids, yeah, but, you, you know, I couldn't eat a full one. But, um, <laughs> but I'm saying that... What about with uh, Henrik, though? Did, that, did it ever sort of cross your mind? Then, it did or? cross my mind, but I, I think that was more of a time clock. I, I knew that I was getting older, and, and I thought, I'm married now, I should maybe have a family. And I always thought I, always thought I would have children. I don't know why. I always pictured myself having kids. But now I've met Ed, I wish I'd have met him ten years previous. But you did. I know I met him 27 years previous. Yeah. yeah. But he was a wild child then. He just wasn't husband material for oh. what I wanted out of a husband mm. then. And I had <coughs> other things to do. I wasn't ready for, for marriage. But do you think yeah. that would have been different if you had maybe met him 10 years ago? Mm. You know, you say, I think you'd make a great dad. And do you think maybe you're saying I'm not a bit maternal, but maybe you say that, but then if you meet the right man, yeah, because that could I see, change. Yeah, because I see him as a, a good father. Mm. I like, and I look at him and I think, oh, yeah. 
But I, don't, I, don't think, I think people baby. either yeah, are maternal like, or they're not. I really do. Yeah. Like, Carol, no. ain't happening, is it? No, no. 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 <laughs> it's, never, it's never, ever even crossed my mind. No. Maybe, maybe for five minutes once, but then as soon as you start thinking about it, and you just think, no, not I'm even way too sensible not for that. that. you're really truly in love. Well, no. Well, the thing is, no. <laughs> no. But is, that, no, is, it no because you, is it because you don't really like children? Or I you think, like I like children, children, I just don't want them, I just don't you want to don't be a mother. I do like them. children, but I've never had that mm. feeling that, oh, my God, I really want to be a mother. I've, you know, I've never looked at a bloke that I've gone out with and thought, oh, you're the one, I, want, I love you so much, I want to have your babies. I've often thought, uh, I've looked at a bloke and thought, I want to try and do what you do <laughs> to have them, yeah. but I don't want to actually have one. And now, you know, it's different. It's, it's too easy to say, you know, what if you'd met Mark ten years ago? Well, he would have been 17, so it would have been yeah. no good. <laughs> but, you know, say if he was old or even... I still think that, because I'm 49, I still mm. think that's just too old to have yeah. a baby. So, no. I'm I mean, even if the moment's gone, if it was ever there, but as far as I'm concerned, it wasn't. I had, I had Jack at 42, but I have to say, I did quite quickly when, after I met Eamon think, oh, I really want your babies. Oh. Yeah, and actually, you know, had, had we met earlier and hadn't been in my 40s, ho we hopefully would have had would more Would you have a lot one. of little mini Eamons? Oh, little mini oh, can you imagine? Oh. Little baby Eamons oh. running around the house. Oh. But also, but oh, also you see, he had... You yes, I've always oh. seen myself with children. I mean, not when I was in my 20s. I didn't want them in my 20s, but definitely mm. always saw myself with three or four kids. See, so did I, but I don't want any more than one. I, when I got married, I didn't look at my ex-husband and go, I want to have your babies. I wanted a baby. It didn't matter that it was his, because the problem is... The... <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean that nastily. No, no, no. When I married him, it was just... It was the next step. Yeah. I thought, I want a baby. You know, I was happily married. But the thing is, you couldn't... I couldn't just meet somebody. So I met somebody tomorrow, and I thought, oh, look at you. I want your baby. Thing is, you stuck with him and all. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Doesn't so matter. Like I would have done that with all them bin men yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> bin men beware. <laughs> Jane's after you. <laughs> oh, we're taking a quick.